Welcome to another episode of You Can Become on Instagram. So today I was just thinking like, I remember when I was sat on the couch, when I got out of the hospital, and I felt hopeless, felt like I had no way of getting out of the situation that I needed to. I had no confidence, I couldn't even walk to the shops and get myself a chocolate bar, you know what I mean? That's what Love Over was talking about, of um, how low I was in that state of mind when I came out of hospital. So this video, this video is for you who is sat on the couch still, whether you're going through a mental health crisis or not, if you're sat on the couch and you don't know what to do and your life just feels like a mess, remember, I'm not just saying this to be cliche, but you really can become anything that you want and set your mind to. Before I got into hospital, I was just doing a lot of different things. I was at university, I was working in television, I was writing books, novels, poems, a lot of creative, you know, a lot of different creative areas I was working in, which led to me having a bit of a crash because I was overworking myself. It was a mixture of um, a lot of stress and a lot of personal conflicts and a lot of energy that I couldn't control because I had so much of it. So. I, I was unbalanced in myself, which led me to becoming, you know, overactive, unable to take steps back to look where I was going. Hello and welcome to The Advice Show, the show for bringing you general advice, ideas and thoughts on a range of subjects. Today I'm joined by Jack Nolan, a Salford University student who has just finished writing his first crime novel on the job. What next? Um, do you, I mean, how will it feel to you to see your book Published. To see a book in a shelf that I've read, it'd be a surreal experience because of what I've become and the journey that I've been on and all the inspiration and basically, you know, from starting of dreaming to actually, actually it's real. So once I've set them, you know, the boundaries that I can do something and it is realistic for me, it might not be for somebody else, it might not be for you, it might not be for you know, something backstory is making the coffee, but as soon as you condition yourself and pull yourself away from, you know, all the distractions, like, you realise you've got so much more time that you can actually use it well. What an amazing way to end this show. I tell you what, what an inspiration you are, Jack Nolan. And I know that this is just going to be the start of hearing about you, because you are fantastic. Uh, when Jack first became Paula, um, wasn't really aware of it. We just thought, basically, he was just going off on... Um, some kind of crazy opportunity he thought he had created and there was going to be this big successful businessman. It was quite difficult, we just tried to give him advice, you know, as a parent, just to say, you know, slow down a bit, you're going a bit too fast. And I think it was my son, really, my other son who was the first to notice that things weren't quite right. It just happened within 24 hours from him still saying he wanted to create this business to then the next day, it was really quite clearly not, not in the right frame of mind. Thank you.
Whilst I was in hospital, I experienced a lot of delusional thinking, a lot of crazy thoughts, and a lot of different perspectives about the world that I didn't even understand. I thought that I was special, gifted, and I just didn't know how to control that energy or the ideas that I had. Life felt really different when I came out of hospital because I just had to fit back in with society again. It's difficult because you don't feel the same as you are. You feel like a completely different person because you feel quite, you know, closed off from the world and that you have to really try your hardest to step back into getting socialising with people again, building your own confidence up. A lot of creativity I lost, which, um, you know, affected me a lot because I'm a creative person and I lost a lot of my own, you know, personal self in the moments where I had to rebuild and, and rebuild. I, every day was a challenge. So with every day being a challenge, that meant that I had to work just that, you know, doing simple things like going to the shop, going to you know, a friend's house, seeing my mates, just trying to socialise. And then recently, you know, I've took quite a massive you know, leap forward in, in my journey because I've been trying to like, use my, you know, my downfalls, my negative experiences as a tool to try and help people, to try and get people back on track and stop people from going into dangerous situations that they don't need to go into through my experience and knowledge of guiding them in the right direction which is why I created a channel called You Can Become. You know, it's not about the amount of views I get, it's not about the amount of exposure You Can Become gets. It's all about the people's lives you can change. So even if it's one view or one person, you know, if I can change someone's perspective just through them watching my video, you know, I've done my job. If I can go into a school and speak to kids and help change perspectives there, then I've done my job. Welcome to Express Service. Good. So I just wanted to explain a bit about what we're going to do and just check that's all right with you and just yeah. see what you want, really. Yeah, of course. So I know that Cheryl and Chris have probably... Chris we'll be down, down, down here. So I've just arrived at the mental health conference in Tickle Road and we're going to be talking about you know, my mental health issues and the problems that I've been through in my past and explain to the board all the different you know, decisions that I had to make and all the different choices that I've made to, to be where I am today. Be nervous about them, yeah. basically. It's an odd situation to be in. It really is an odd situation to be in because you're talking about yourself and really hugely important personal matters yeah. in front of a group of strangers. That takes huge courage on your part. Yeah. Absolutely massive, huge courage. Just do do your thing yeah. in your own way, uh, and that's the right way to go about it. Yeah. Uh, do you know how long I need to talk well, for? Like five probably, minutes, ten minutes max. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you're doing about ten minutes worth, if that's but you know, yeah. let's face it. It's what you feel at the moment. If yeah, it's yeah. less, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. If it's a bit more, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, of and course. And there'll be some questions at the end. So don't feel pressured that you've you know, got to do this and or yeah. whatever. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Really good to see you here. Yeah. And it's fantastic that you've taken the time to, to come and see us. Oh, thanks, mate. Uh, I'm thinking, <laughs> so if we need to shift something... Oh, no, no. We can do that. Thanks, thanks, mate. Yeah. So is it all right if I just sort of like when I'm talking, just to sort of be around there like that? And just... So long as everybody, as long as everybody is, is happy. Uh, I believe Jack will um, create this You Can Become channel. But he's starting off on a good footing now. Um, he's getting a few videos out there. People are interested. People are um, coming direct and letting Jack know that he's helping them in, in their own ways. Lots of students, children, students, all ages are suffering with mental health issues and, and lots of them just need basic advice on getting through primary, secondary, college, uni, whichever really. And if Jack can influence them and be a good role model and inspire, I think job done. Even if it's one person, he saves. University, relationships and being in an environment where I didn't want to be in. I developed a lot of ambition towards wanting to create my own company one day and create a lot of diff you know, different creative content, which was, you know, I was just running so fast towards my dreams and what I was doing that I was losing metaphorical oxygen towards what I was doing. So on that journey of pursuing my goals, I ended up you know, achieving some great things, but I was climbing so far up the mountain that I was losing you know, all my twos along the way. I feel a great difference in my life and change after you know making you can become because it's given me a lot of purpose you know some days i wake up in the morning and i'm full of energy in the right direction because i know that i'm going to wake up i'm going to speak to the world 
and share my life stories with them, share my ups, my downs, my negative moments. And what they see again is what you get. You know, hopefully I'm you know, aspiring for changing people's lives. I'm hoping that I can make a difference and affect the right people. Welcome to another episode of You Can Become. I believe Jack is far happier now. He's, he's been through a tough 13 months now. He was in a terrible place. We know he's still recovering, but we do believe he will get there. And I believe he knows himself he will get there with um, friends, family, and his own motivation. He's self-motivated and inspires his family and he will do well and succeed.